this is a tutorial video for the YM3812. First, attach the power cable. The red line on the power cable goes towards the bottom of the module as shown. Then mount the module in your Eurorack enclosure. Connect the MIDI in to your MIDI source. Connect the audio out to hear the sounds produced. When the module powers up, it first displays software version and the current configuration. There are eight configurations, one channel with nine voices, this is the best selection for use with keyboards, two MIDI channels with five and four voices, three MIDI channels with three voices each, four MIDI channels with three and two voices, one six voice channel with percussion mode enabled, two three voice channels with percussion mode, three two voice channels with percussion mode, and percussion mode only with the normal voices disabled. The system-wide parameters of amplitude modulation depth and vibrato depth are set outside of editing an individual channel. Once the configuration is selected, the sound the channel produces can be edited. Only active channels can be edited. Each channel has two operators called the modulator and the carrier. They have the same set of parameters that can be edited. The first parameter you can edit is modulator attack. This controls how fast the sound starts with 15 being the fastest, with 0 being the slowest. Next is decay. This is the speed that the operator takes to get to its sustain level once it's reached maximum volume. 15 again being the fastest and 0 being the slowest. Sustained is the level the sound maintains until the key is released. 0 being the loudest and 15 being the softest. Release is the length of time the sound takes to stop. 15 again being the shortest and 0 the longest. The next parameter that can be set is wave type. The YM3812 can produce four wave types. Sine wave, half sine wave, rectified sine wave, and a truncated rectified sine wave. Amp mod applies amplitude modulation to the sounds. Vibrato can be enabled or disabled for each of the operators. EG type controls whether a note is held at its sustain level to the key is released or decays immediately. Note, the scale rate reduces the envelope of a note the higher the pitch. Frequency multiplier does what it sounds like. Setting of 1 is the fundamental frequency note. Setting of 0 is one half of that fundamental frequency. 2 through 15 are the respective multipliers of that frequency. Scaling can decrease the volume of a note with increasing pitch. 0 is no decrease in volume, and setting of 3 is 6 dB per octave. Level is the volume of a sound produced, 0 being the loudest, 64 being silent. Feedback controls how much of the sound is folded back in. This affects both operators. 0 is no feedback, and 7 is the most. Algorithm controls whether AM modulation or FM modulation is used to produce the sound. Load loads a saved sound from memory. All unsaved modifications to a channel will be overwritten. Just press the select button to load the settings. Save saves the current settings of a channel to non-volatile memory. The name of the settings can be edited here too. If you decide you don't want to save, the operation can be cancelled by moving the cursor all the way to the left. On power up, the last saved or loaded settings are loaded into each channel. The last parameter is the MIDI address in each channel. All 16 addresses can be set to any channel and are automatically saved. If two channels are set to the same address, only the lowered number channel will when done editing a channel, simply press the select button to return to the main menu. You are now done configuring this module, and it's time for some reckless experimentation.